This is the standard air-powered pump. Its basic features such as the pressure regulator, gauge, connectors, hoses, and oil requirements are the same as its electric cousin. However, it is different in several ways. As with all air turbine motors, this one functions best with a dry and lubricated air supply. This unit should only be connected through its filter regulator lubricator, or FRL assembly, to protect the internal workings of the turbine and extend its working life. The FRL consists of three cylinders to which the air supply line is connected and the main air supply valve. The first unit after the main air valve is the pressure regulator. This is not to be confused with the regulator on the pump which controls hydraulic pressure. This one allows the operator to limit incoming air pressure to a range from 80 to 120 psi. About 100 psi is usually ideal. Lift up and turn the knob on top, in or out, to adjust the pressure on its gauge. The speed of the pump depends not just on the pressure, but on the volume of air supplied. For best operation, the pump requires 40 to 50 cubic feet per minute through at least a 3 quarter inch supply hose. Next is a filter and water separator designed to clean the air of debris and to screen out water that might corrode the turbine blades. There is a flush button on the bottom of the clear plastic bowl that can be used to drain it as needed. The third cylinder is the lubricator. Its job is to introduce a fine mist of oil into the air supply to keep the internal parts of the motor lubricated and corrosion free. The bowl of the lubricator should be filled with the same 46 grade hydraulic oil that is used in the pump reservoir. To remove the bowl, press the detent above it and turn the bowl. Notice the small transparent knob on top. When and only when the pump is running, you will be able to see a drop of oil form and then fall into the airstream. By turning the knob in or out, you can regulate how much oil is introduced. Adjust the flow to produce one drop about every 30 seconds. Too much oil can clog the muffler and even spray out of the hand control, making a mess. A fourth cylinder can be found on the opposite side of the pump. It looks like a filter, but it is actually a muffler to reduce the noise of the escaping air. The remote control has only two buttons, run and stop. With the air turned on, pressing the run button starts the motor. Holding it down pressurizes the pump sending oil through the tool. Releasing the button shifts the direction of the oil flow, returning the piston in the wrench ready for another cycle. Pressing the stop button turns the pump off.